this is uh, Maxwell's Paradox <coughs> and uh, I just wanted to give you an update on uh, progress here on the Starship uh, permanent motor uh, from the last time uh, or for the last for, from the last video until now uh, there have been some changes uh, we lost uh, the the front uh, wheel uh, because it it was too diff difficult to get it uh, running and uh, changed it into uh, some small uh, hall effect sensors down here uh, Okay, they are located and the at the end of those sticks, uh, two hall elements. So it is changed in a way that um, the I have now uh, three coils pulling uh, and three two coils. Um, uh, repulsion that's three cars attraction and two cars repulsion and that have changed uh, the efficiency of the motor from the start uh, dramatically because uh, it couldn't run at all and that was a big disappointment uh, but anyway uh, the rotor is changed um, and now there is 12 magnets uh, on the rotor and uh, therefore uh, the motor is changed to a synchron uh, action or drive uh, and it uh, is in a way uh, that I thought anyhow that it would uh, use a lot of more current uh, to drive because the coils are activated parallel uh, but it seems that uh, that isn't a problem the, the amount of uh, amps are uh, approximately the same as asynchron so but let 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 look let's look over uh, the changes. Um, Twelve magnets, two hall elements. I have some uh, level um, converting uh, from the hall element to uh, the drive system because uh, uh, it was uh, inversed. So I had to change the signal around and uh, my uh, pulse wide modulated board um, uh, was easy to fit so as you can see uh, I'm detecting uh, when I'm approaching the center of the coil and when I'm leaving the coil uh, and that uh, works actually quite nice. I, I tried to, to play around the, with the pulse wide modulator and change the frequency and, and it seems uh, to me that there's a sweet spot uh, and uh, it's about uh, above 80 percent uh, and we have uh, on the drive boards that's there's down here I'm uh, sending the 
uh, EMF back to uh, the power supply and that's maybe therefore I'm uh, getting so uh, low a, a change in amps if I run the uh, the pulse wide modulation ratio uh, over 80 I get a lot of consumption and um, I therefore think that the sweet spot um, allows the amount of uh, EMF to be reused and uh, in that area the, the motor is effective above uh, I don't think the efficiency is very good. Um, from the start, when it was running asynchron, the motor didn't run at all. And now it puts out about uh, over 350 rounds per minute. It's not a lot, uh, but anyhow, it shows that there is still um, efficiency to gain. So uh, the next time uh, this motor will be running, uh, it will have a, a extra rotor at the front. Uh, two rotors, uh, one here and one here. The coils uh, will be changed. Instead of one winding, uh, there will be six now. The, the the thickness of the coil will also be doubled. So um, we are uh, hoping for a efficiency improvement about 20 times, uh, and that that sounds like a lot, but um, it is perhaps reachable. If it reaches into an area where we can reuse the energy, it would be very nice. Anyhow, as a supplement to uh, pick off up excess coil, uh, energy, uh, we will also try to mount a, a coil inside the, the vortex and hoping to pick up some of the uh, motor current or field as well as the field uh, going by uh, by the magnets. Now I will uh, start up the, uh, the motor and uh, we can see how the ratio between uh, motor uh, and generator functionality or back EMF uh, is uh, playing out. So I start the motor now. Oh, there's a hole. So, and now runs. And we can see uh, how the the supply is is actually uh, drained from um, the start of, of the the motor. I have some backlights here, so just try to cover them up. Oh! <laughs> I 
so if I uh, did disconnect the, the drives we can see how um, the generator effect is working and I'm disconnecting the effect now and that that's how little the, the coils are reproducing effect back to the, the motor well now it's working it are uh, uh, running up again and we can see here And it's uh, still rising. We can just give it a little moment. And it will pick, pick up speed again. But uh, right now, we are going into the phase to wind some new coils bigger, better and uh, more efficient uh, si six windings per coil instead of one and uh, extra rotor and uh, we hope for uh, a big improvement in efficiency Just look at here again. Well, that's about it. So, until next time, this is Alan from Maxwell's Power Bucks. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, keep up the good spirit. That's all for now. Have a nice day. Have a nice summer.